Good morning everyone and welcome to a very different, very special Charles Marlowe property tour. For today we're not in the expansive Ibiza countryside oozing over another brilliant villa, plenty more of those to come. Now today we brought you to Ibiza's Old Town, the cobbled streets, the smells and sounds of the local cafes and patisseries all around me, the gentle din and humdrum of the locals going about their daily business is all within earshot. And it is here in the epicenter of the real Ibiza, we find one of the most extraordinary homes on the market today. A townhouse may be an accurate description for it, but no, when they are as luxurious and as opulent as this, they refer to them here as palaces or palacios. And it is behind these closed doors right here, the fun and excitement begins and prepare to fall in love with palacio or fail. And wow. For a start, what doors these are, bringing me into this absolutely extraordinary reception room. We've come through those double height doors into this double heighted ceiling room, and this really does set the tone for everything else that we're about to see. At one hand, it feels like I'm in a religious church-like experience here with the double candelabras on the wall, the artwork, and the beautiful terracotta railings that adorn either side of the wall. At the same time, we've got such modern features as this LED detailing on the ceiling and the floor to let us know we are in a thoroughly modern home. We come up this way, up this beautiful grandiose wide staircase, we've got pocket lighting at the side. I've gone past a laundry and service room over there, by the way, and I take a pier down this corridor here. We do have one bedroom down there, as well as our first access point to the lift that takes us to the top of the house. So follow me upstairs, because there's some amazing stuff I want to show you up here. Okay, so coming up the stairs allows me to get close and personal to these remarkable banisters on either side of me. And the house as you see it now is lovingly restored in 2017 to make it look like what it is today. These have been saved, salvaged from the original building, and they look amazing. Now follow me this way and see what we have in here. Once again, the lift shaft right here acts as the centerpiece for this room. Surrounding it, come on in, is this remarkable library. Take a look at this. Bespoke furniture adorns both of these walls here, and we have hundreds, if not thousands, of exquisitely organized books. You have hours, you have days worth of literature to get through in here. What a wonderful space. What a unique space, I will say. You don't see many of those in houses in Ibiza. But now, follow me, we will look at the master bedroom. And what a gorgeous master bedroom this is. Big ceilings, light flooding in through the floor to ceiling windows here and the Juliet balcony on this size. A king size bed takes center stage. What I love about this, lying here, waking up in the morning, you get a great view of the cathedral at the top of Dalt Villa. That'll be the first and last time I say that on one of these property tours, I'm sure. Big flat screen TV, air conditioning and Sonos built in to the walls and the ceiling. And follow me this way, we're going to look at one of the prettiest ensuite bathrooms we have showcased so far. Take a look at this. Italian marble adorns the ceiling, floor and walls. Double basin, big bath, behind you there is the loo and an excellent shower. Like everything in this house, it is immaculate. Underfloor heating is standard in here as it is elsewhere, so a beautiful way. Wake up in the morning, even in the winter, nice and warm, get yourself ready for the day. So let's go back out here, back into the master bedroom, and we exit this way. A good opportunity to point out these two fantastic wardrobes, walk-in wardrobes, plenty of space for all of your clothes, and back out into the library, passing the very pretty guest loo just there, as I do. So that is the first floor. We've got four floors to get through on this house. We could take the elevator, as I mentioned already, but we're gonna take the stairs. Come with me as we go up one more level and up to the main living space of the house, which arguably is its most impressive feature, I think. Follow me and we'll take a look through. We've got the lift shaft again once here, this time encased in a mirror surface, so flooding the space with even more light and accentuating the space that one finds up here. Come through here into this brilliant, brilliant kitchen. A long marble work surface can be seen here on my right. Check out the detail of this, I love this. Clearly this once upon a time is one continuous piece of marble that's been cut into shape and size for the drawers and the cupboards. You can see the quartz lines running through. That in itself is a work of art. We see a similar feature on the other side of the room. 
So we come down here, in this corner, I've got my oven, microwave, dishwasher that is in there, big fridge freezer, water and ice machine, and wine cooler, all gagging out appliances, so tip top quality. Follow me this way, but actually before we get to the dining area here, I'd love to show you this because I'm a huge fan of it. Big, golden, pivoting door to separate the two areas if you want to. Design inspired by the famous Dutch abstract artist Peter Modrian. On my left, we've got fantastic cupboards to open up as so, and they have been crafted from beautiful burnt Japanese wood. Not only are they extremely hard wearing, they look fantastic and are very unique. I've not seen them before. And then we go straight into this beautiful light and airy living space right here. To my left, a long marble dining table sitting beneath the stairs that we're gonna venture up in just a moment. LED lighting is apparent and looks incredible. Down here, we have the real king of the palace in Pride of Place, where he likes to be, having a bit of a rest. And then in the main space right here, as you are seeing, a real eclectic mix of bespoke furniture pieces and other beautiful antiques that we see all around us. To be honest, we could talk an awful lot about the special pieces that you find in here. We have the mirror on the wall over here from 17th century Italy, or maybe we can look at the 16th century statue in the enclave over here from China. But for me, the thing that you feel when you enter this space, especially in this amazing house, is that contrast between what I know is happening outside, the fun, the buzz, the excitement of central Ibiza town, to this incredibly serene, calm oasis of tranquility that's been created in here. That is magic, that is special, and that, you've really got to be here to get a sense of it. Let's go upstairs and take a look at what's up there. And so we make it to the top of the house. And what do we find up here? The prettiest of guest bedrooms. Double bed takes centre stage, wonderful artwork adorns the walls and like everywhere else in this palace, beautiful furnishing meticulously thought through. We've got a cute little shower ensuite room behind you there, storage for your clothes in the form of a wardrobe down here, but this way come through to your own terrace. And I can't begin to tell you how much I love this space. To have a terrace like this in the heart of the old town with nothing above me but the sky, the sun, the stars, is so utterly unique, so special, that it really tugs the heartstrings for me. And the obvious things to point out would be the couple of sunbeds for sunbathing on a sunny day like today, or the great spot for our fresco dining. All of that is true, of course. But for me, to be at the top of my very own palace, with the cacophony and energy and sounds of Ibiza town happening all around me, that is the really, truly special sensation. And you've got to be here to appreciate that. For me, this has been one of the finest pieces of Ibiza real estate we've had the opportunity to tour. And I hope you've enjoyed it.